43, and it is an extra crowded uh, news desk here on this Friday morning. We couldn't be happier about it. We've got uh, some uh, cheerleaders from the McDowell uh, Spirit Squad with us this morning. That's after they won a big competition, and they're getting ready for a special recognition later on today. So glad you guys could join us this morning. We've got Coach Dina here, and we've also got, let's see if I can do it, Richie, Mary Claire, Megan, and Emma. Yes, nice job, guys. And, uh, tell us a little bit about Dina, uh, how you guys achieved what you were just saying a moment ago was the squad's ultimate goal. Oh, this truly was their ultimate goal. And, you know, we start in April okay. every year. So our season ended in February. We are now starting oh, wow. again in April wow. just to be able to compete at the national level in wow. February. So it takes, it takes a long time to achieve the skills that these kids have achieved. Did you think it was possible? And how did you feel once you got there? <laughs> like I said, this is the ultimate goal. Uh, when I say every team is good at nationals, Every team is good at nationals. You have to go through a regional qualifier, then you have to go through semifinals, and really a goal is just to make it to finals, to be like, I am top 10 in the nation, I did it, we're great, we're happy. Yeah. Um, How hard did they work? I would imagine, oh, because also, you know, some people might think, hey, it's the spirit squad, is mm -hmm. it, you know, a athletic competition, but uh, Richie, explain, you guys are, are doing lots of physical work out there. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a lot of work, throwing all the girls up in the air, <laughs> holding them up. It's a lot more work than people think. That's fantastic. I Good always, for you all. I always uh, compare it to a sprint. So you are sprinting for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Now on top of that sprint, you have to stop, throw a back tuck, and then pick a girl up, throw her in the air. <laughs> Not just throw her in the air, do it all at the exact same time. Put the girl back down and then start yelling while you're sprinting. Wow. Yeah, so it's not it's Mentally not what you, and physically yes. quite challenging. It's not what you see at football and basketball games. Sure, yeah. sure. This it had to be fun great. along the way. Mary Claire, what was the funnest part of the competition for you? I would have to say the funnest part was probably just getting to experience the whole thing and watching all the teams, just seeing like the different skills, the different cheers, just seeing everybody compete and go out there and do their best was just amazing to witness. And how was it to come back to your school after all of this happened? Them, yeah. It was one of the best feelings in the world. Like winning just felt unreal and then coming back with like our jackets and our medals and everyone celebrating like it just it was so unreal and I wish I could do it all over again. Yeah. And Emma, you're getting recognized yeah. by Representative Ryan Pizarro yes. today. That's got to feel pretty good, too. Yes, we're so excited. That is fantastic. Well, Dina, this is an amazing squad. I wish we could meet all of them this morning, <laughs> but we were glad we were able yes. to bring in we so many, many of you. Could, so. <laughs> For having us. Yeah, we yes. really appreciate it. Congratulations, guys. You have not only made McDowell and alumni like myself proud, uh, but the whole community as well. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. All right, your news. Now, Sunrise is coming right back. We're also going to put these guys to work, so to speak, perhaps <laughs> with a little cheer before we get out of here on this uh, Friday. So we'll do that coming up in just a little bit. Your news. Now, Sunrise is coming back, though, in a couple